For the Tape Members project, I thought it would be quite exciting if, if all the different things in my studio, different kinds of marks and ways of using paint, and bits, little bits of imagery, it was as if it had exploded all over the Tape products, so <laughs> little bits here and there. It's an opportunity to have your work seen by a huge audience in a really different way. I'm working with a designer and we're going to take elements from my paintings, I'm going to maybe change things in Photoshop, adapt them and find a way of making them look really good on the tape member stuff. So uh, I think it'll be fun. I, I like it when things go a little bit, oh not too wrong. See this is starting to wobble. Oh, I, it's that pearlescent paint. I knew it was going to betray me. What we have to do is use Fiona's paintings and try and transfer them somehow onto all the artwork. So it's not about just taking one of her pieces of artwork and using it on a box. That's my version. And then that's her painting. Her work is quite complicated, so we're trying to kind of pare it down to make it work better on the box. I have to take one of her paintings and then extract parts that I think will work well. So the cutest bits, like the rabbits and the stars. A lot of the slightly kitsch imagery that I use, the little bunny rabbits, the angels, have something slightly sinister about them anyway. The, I think there's quite a thin line dividing cute from horror. I love um, Dura and this is Cranach demons and dragons and monsters. I think that including all kinds of flotsam and jetsam from everyday so-called low culture and the collages and then finding ways of making these kinds of things appear in the painting seeming a very contemporary project to me that it's not back in the days of I don't know bottles of wine and fancy cheese I'm I'm doing uh, <laughs> I'm doing pictures of bandies but in with some very expressive brush marks as well because that's also part of me a kind of uh, a seriousness an engagement with paint language in that way as well I even like brushes that have disintegrated a bit because then they do something a little bit different. Although this one's on its last legs because actually it needs to be quite a neat brush. And it's not. I want this to look as if I did it in one go, but um, sometimes I have to uh, go back over it. And you also have to breathe out as you do it as well, like just to keep it steady and moving. screens and, and a few proofs to just check colour and stuff but I haven't actually been able to see everything how it's all going to look so all along we've been trying to imagine the set. Mm, yeah. I'm happy really with well. that, yeah. yeah. I 
think that what I really like about painting is that you get to invent a world and you get to be in charge of what happens in that world and uh, you don't really get to do that in life do you? So it's, it's an endlessly um, inventive, inspiring little space that you can go to and make anything happen, more or less. So. <laughs>